The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is set to break a major tradition. It's dropping Snapdragon and returning to Exynos. For the first time in four years, Samsung's Ultra model won't rely solely on Qualcomm's Snapdragon processor in all regions. This change isn't just about brand pride. It's about performance, innovation, and confidence in Samsung's own chip technology. The Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature the new Exynos 2600 chipset, and this time users have every reason to be excited. For years, Exynos chips were seen as the weaker option, often criticized for running hotter and slower than Snapdragon versions. But that's about to change in a big way. Let's start with a little background. The last Ultra model to use Exynos was the Galaxy S22 Ultra back in 2022. Since then, Samsung decided to stick with Snapdragon chips across all markets because of performance and yield issues with its own processors. Exynos processors struggled with overheating and poor efficiency, and Samsung's foundry faced low production yields. These problems led many fans to believe Samsung might abandon its in-house chip division altogether. But the company never gave up. Behind the scenes, Samsung engineers continued refining their designs, pushing the limits of chip manufacturing. The result of all that hard work is the Exynos 2600, a processor that's not just competitive, but arguably superior to both Snapdragon and Apple chips. The Exynos 2600 is built on Samsung Foundry's new 2 nanometer process, making it one of the most advanced chips in the world. This gives it a huge edge over current 3 nanometer processors used by competitors. According to leaked performance benchmarks, the Exynos 2600 surpasses Apple's A19 Pro, the same chip powering the iPhone 17 Pro. In AI processing, it's reportedly six times faster than Apple's chip. It also beats the A19 Pro by 15% in multi-core performance and around 75% in graphics performance. That's a massive leap forward for Samsung's in-house silicon, and when compared to Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, which powers many current Android flagships, the Exynos 2600 still comes out on top. It delivers 30% better AI performance and nearly 29% better graphics performance. These numbers suggest that Samsung is no longer playing catch up. It's taking the lead. This improvement is largely thanks to the switch to 2 nanometer manufacturing. Smaller transistors mean better efficiency, higher speeds, and less heat. This is exactly what Samsung needed to fix the long, standing weaknesses of Exynos chips. It's not just about technical achievements either. This shift has major business importance. Samsung Foundry has struggled in recent years to attract clients due to its lower yield rates and reliability concerns. Many speculated that Samsung might even close down its chip production business. But now, with the Exynos 2600 proving its worth, the Foundry could see a major comeback. The success story began earlier this year with the Exynos 2500, which first appeared in the Galaxy Z Flip 7. That chip was built on the 3 nanometer process and showed signs of improvement, but it wasn't quite ready for Samsung's flagship S series. Now with the 2 nanometer Exynos 2600, Samsung seems to have perfected what it started. For users, this means the Exynos version of the Galaxy S26 Ultra might actually be the better one this time. A complete reversal of the past situation. In earlier years, consumers often preferred Snapdragon variants because they performed better and stayed cooler. Now, those getting the Exynos version will likely have the advantage. Of course, some users will still be skeptical. The reputation of Exynos hasn't been great, and many will wait for real, world tests before making judgments. But if these early numbers are accurate, Samsung could finally silence the critics and re-establish Exynos as a top-tier mobile processor. This marks a new chapter for Samsung, one where the company fully believes in its own technology again. The Galaxy S26 Ultra isn't just another flagship phone, it's a statement that Samsung can compete head to head with Apple and Qualcomm using its own innovation. The Exynos 2600 represents more than just faster performance. It's a symbol of resilience, progress, and Samsung's determination to control its own destiny in the mobile industry. If the real world performance matches these expectations, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could be remembered as the model that revived faith in Exynos and reshaped the future of Samsung's flagship lineup. In short, ditching Snapdragon might just be the best decision Samsung has made in years. And this time, buyers of the Exynos Galaxy S26 Ultra will be the lucky ones.